All right, uh, my four winds boat, my inside fridge has that issue where it's okay on shore power. Um, the 12 volt, uh, the AC to DC to power supply, which is this thing here. 24 volt, 240 volts AC, sorry, 12 volt DC is working fine when I'm not sure. And when the generator's on at sea, however, when I'm on batteries alone, so that's the AC cable. This is the AC cable, 240 volts AC coming into the power supply. And these, this is the battery cable coming in from the switchboard circuit breaker, a refrigerator. refrigerator. Um, you'll see on lots of forums, people have problems. The fridge um, doesn't work when you're away from shore on batteries. Um, tries to start, then stops, tries to start, then stops, and then just doesn't start again. And everyone reckons it's because this wire, sorry, this wire, um, doesn't have the capacity or has a voltage drop between here and all the way around past the head to where the fridge goes in there and the fix is to run a new wire now I was going to run I was going to try and run an 8 mil square wire so I won't have any issues whatsoever however I can't get it past some of the places I've just had to get it past so I've used 4 mil which is uh, 15 amp and I'm hoping that I'll leave the existing factory wiring on there. You can see I've put an extra, the four, what's four square mil, 15 amp red wire. And this is how I run it. So four screws at the front of the fridge to pull it out and set it on the ground. There's plenty of slack. But I started from here. So here is the, the this circuit breaker panel. That is a right mess behind there. I don't want to even go in there. There's AC, DC, everything's going on. We can isolate and work it, but it's just too bloody hard. So I started at this closet at the base. I have a hatch that I can remove. And if I get a torch, sorry. I started there and fed a snake or a wire guide, whatever you want to call it, down one of those holes until I hit under the carpet here at the base of the stairs. Inspection hatch from what I'm assuming is the grey water tank, is it? Or the holding tank? Until, and the thing I used, sorry the camera's all over the place, doing it on my phone. I just used one of these. Uh, you know, the yellow thing that goes in the side of uh, flooring, that joins flooring together. I just pull these out, they're great for feeding cables around. Pull that cable from the bottom of the closet. Keep shoving the yellow thing through, the yellow snake, down there, through a hole. There's a, like a drain hole in the bottom. And just keep feeling it, and eventually, if you're in luck, it'll pop out here. Uh, so that was quite magnificent. If it doesn't, you lift up this. And there is, you probably won't be able to see it, there's some cables going there. We might have to go through from the bottom of the cupboard, that hatch, into this space first. If this is blocked, if you can't get anything through, I was very lucky. I just kept gently pushing it. It just went all the way through, so I was very lucky. Um, comes to here, this inspection. Then it's quite easy then to get it to the bilge, the center bilge, or this might be the forward bilge punch, I think, or the center one. This is the one under the stairs. It's quite easy to get that in here. Here's the red wire. Now, this one's the really hard one. Getting it under the stairs over to the port side of the boat where the head is. So I went to the right of the sump, the drain for the shower. Managed to find a small hole to, um, to get through. Uh, enough to get the yellow thing through, so there's enough where it won't um, movement that won't pinch the cable. It's protected by the breaker anyway. And then you take out your toilet roll cupboard. It's just held in by a couple of screws there under your sink. And feed that up and the oh excuse me. And the snake will appear uh, down there. And it's quite hard, it uh, just pops up here, you just get enough of it to get out, and I've taken up around the back. Once you're in here, you're home free, because that hole there is the wall to the fridge. And then, through the back, through the fridge cabinet, there's that hole. What I haven't done yet, is 
getting it up this cupboard because this is all sealed. There's no, you can't take any of these panels off. They're all must be like joined internally or something like that when they put it together. I've taken this AC breaker out um, and there's nothing underneath. So that's a solid underneath. I really don't, I've taken the air conditioning vent over here out and that's just the box and it's quite rigid in there and I don't want to mess with that. I'd like to get rid of the old Nokia hands-free cable and put a new iPhone slash Android, um, but I just can't get over there, I don't know. Might be able to take that power point off and get in behind it, and that might give me access to the back of the panel space over there. I'll find my torch. Where are we with it? Over there, to the back of the thing. But like I said, I just don't want to mess around. You know, there's your hot AC, everything coming in just at the back here. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a small piece of conduit, glue it, very small conduit, glue it on the inside of this doorway frame, on the inside of this, so in around, in around here and the other side, if I can come around, so there's door coming around and there's a bit of a lip. I'm going to take that conduit and I'm going to put a small hole beside that hatch, bring that wire up all the way up along the side here, bring the conduit under here and then I am going to draw a small hole up under here making sure that I don't hit any of the wires and then that is, and I'm sorry about the camera work but these are phones and working in a boat as you know, that is that circuit breaker is that thing just there so it will come up under that and then I can take it across loom it around and bring it down onto the refrigerator circuit breaker and hopefully that gets rid of that issue and it's been a bit of a job bit of a mission I was very lucky getting